Hello dear friends, in this video I want to show you how to search and find a pigeon, how to update details of a pigeon registered in our application and how to print a list of your pigeons. So first of all we log in. Now you click on the pigeons tab under the breeder section. When the window opens, you are able to see all your pigeons, active and inactive, in this case 334. If you want to view just a specific category, breeding loft or flying team, you have to click on the tab. Let's say we select the stock loft. Now only 23 pigeons are displayed on our page. To search a pigeon, you can write in the box situated above the column's identification number, name. You can type in the whole number or you can type the name or just the beginning of the name. For example, I will search for a pigeon called Nadira and I will type in the box only the third three letters N, A and D and click enter. And here we go we have Nadira. Or as I said earlier, we can search by typing in a couple of digits from the ring number. Let's try with the 090. Click enter. We have two options and we will select the one we are looking for. To modify or update the details of a pigeon, you have to open pigeons file. This page contains pigeons details on the left side including the photo, and the pigeon pedigree on the right side. To edit or update details, you click on the blue pencil called Edit. For instance, if you want to change the color because you realized it was incorrectly selected, you go under Other Information, select the right one, and click Edit. To print a list of pigeons, let's say all hands from 2015, you need to go to the main menu, click on the pigeons. On this page you will have all pigeons, so we need to narrow down. So we will select all hands or F, females. After that, we type in under identification number that contains the year as well. We type in 2015 and here we go we've got nine hands from 2015. On the left bottom of the page we have a couple of small buttons. You can export to Excel, you can export this list to PDF and the list will look like this. I hope this short video will be helping you to understand how to better use this application. Thank you for watching.